Welcome back to the news of the week on the Evo India YouTube channel. Now, there's been a number of launches in India and abroad, and we're going to cover all of them. To start with, let's talk about the Mercedes AMG SL55. That has launched in India at rupees 2.35 crores. Now, this SL55, it gets that twin turbo V8 engine that is common across a lot of AMGs. But the SL line has tremendous heritage. The name has been around for 70 years, starting with that iconic 300 SL with gullwing doors. And it stretches all the way to the SL on sale today. Now, this new car, it looks quite different from that original SL. The SL is now a roadster. It's a convertible. You get an electrically folding roof. This SL also gets all-wheel drive for the first time. So this is a 4MATIC Mercedes and it gets an active rear spoiler. On the face of it, there are hints of other Mercedes Benzes in it, particularly with that Panamericana grille. And it looks pretty, pretty cool. 2.35 crores, it is an expensive car. Mercedes has been pushing with their top-end vehicles. First the G-Class, now this, and they're on an absolute roll. I believe there are already orders lined up for the SL. And if that's the case, well, there are going to be some happy customers very soon. Internationally, the Range Rover Evoque has gotten a facelift. Now, look at the pictures. You'll be hard-pressed to tell that this is a facelift because the changes are really minor. On the outside, you get a refreshed grille. On the insides, you have a new curved touchscreen. And this touchscreen also now integrates all of the aircon controls. There are some new paint schemes and other minor tweaks around the car, but this is not a full-blown model change, just some minor updates. And we should see this Evoque launch in India very soon. Another international update is to the Toyota Velfire. Now the Velfire, it has been on sale in India for a while, and now it has a facelift. Like every facelift, you get a few tweaks on the outside. It looks a little bit different from before and you get a few tweaks on the inside. And the Wellfire, it is focused purely on luxury, purely on the back seats. And that is where the major upgrades are. So there's a little more space in the second row and in the third row. There is also something called the long overhead console, which is this roof mounted control system, which controls a number of things like the AC, the windows and a bunch of other things. The new Wellfire will also get ADAS, which it did not get before. At the absolute top end of the spectrum, Koenigsegg has broken the 0 to 400 kilometers an hour to zero record with the Regera. Now, right before this record was broken, Rimac announced that it had set the new world record for 0400 at 29.9 seconds. Immediately, Koenigsegg obviously got wind of this, said we need to go out and break this, and they did it at 28.8 seconds, 1.1 seconds faster than the Rimac, which is incredible. At those speeds, at that level of performance, to beat a record by 1.1 seconds is a significant margin, and Koenigsegg has gone out and done it. On the bike front, BMW Motorrad has teased the M1000RR for India. Now, the M1000RR, as you know, is basically a WSBK spec motorcycle that has been made road legal. So, in terms of weight, it's super light. Lots of carbon fiber use. It weighs just 196 kilos. And power is over 200 bhp. So, proper power to weight ratio there. It is super lightweight, lots of exotic materials used. And it honestly, it sits at the top of BMW Motorrad's sport bike family. And what a machine it is. We don't have a launch date timeline yet, but BMW has teased the motorcycle on its social media. So you can expect it in Indian markets very soon. Triumph has also launched the new Street Triple in India. Now, there's a bunch of variants and their prices vary according to the paint scheme that they're offered in. You will see the prices on your screen right now. The prices themselves, they are more expensive by about a lakh for the R variant and about 50,000 rupees for the RS variant. The Triumph Street Triple, it gets a 765cc triple engine, obviously, from Triumph and in terms of outputs, the R makes 118 bhp and the RS makes 128 bhp. Now, this update brings with it slightly tweaked styling, improved electronics, and improved drivability and improved tractability as well. Would you pay a little more for these motorcycles right now? These are extremely competent street naked motorcycles, and Karan, who went for the first rides of these motorcycles, says he wants one, which is probably the highest compliment an automotive journalist can give a motorcycle. KTM has launched the upgraded 200 Duke in India. Now, this 200 Duke, it gets an updated headlamp, which is 
pretty much in line with the 390s that LED headlamp and it looks a lot more aggressive and a lot more modern than before now prices have gone up by 3000 rupees to 1.96 lakhs ex showroom and that makes it slightly dearer but i think it makes it a much better looking motorcycle than before there are two paint schemes on offer but honestly there are not too many changes apart from this if you are a prospective 390 customer who's worried that your bike is looking too much like the 200 duke don't worry because there's a new 390 coming we've got spy shots of it online and that is going to shake up that entry level performance segment a lot that's it for the news of the week this week thank you so much for tuning in i'm atish mishra i will see you next week <laughs>